Need a place to stay? Got plenty of room for you. Oh, thank you, kind sir. I would love a place to stay. And perhaps a warm meal in my belly? I was kicked off of my farm. Oh, you poor thing. Here, I'll take you in. No problem. So, tell me, what, what happened to you on your old farm? Well, all of his animals managed to scare away our old farmer, Mr. Jones. We renamed our farm Animal Farm and had principles that treated all animals equal and to never act like a human. We were tired of being mistreated as animals. We wanted rights too. I agree with you. I never mistreat my animals. I love them like they're my family. Love them dearly. Really? Wow. Well, on Animal Farm, I tried to be a good, fair leader, but these evil pigs called Napoleon and Squealer chased me away with their dogs and implemented terrible policies. That's a shame. You know, me and you should team up. Make England a better place for humans and animals. What do you think? Oh, yes! I would really appreciate that. I'm Snowball. What's your name? Farmer Billy Bob. Welcome to Lucky Ducky Farm. Something's been bothering you. What is it? I've been thinking about going back to Animal Farm. They need my help. Under Napoleon, all of the animals are probably suffering. I see what you mean. Well, I'll be there to support you all the way. Thank you, Billy Bob. I appreciate it. But it's not going to be easy. There's probably going to be an intense battle. Napoleon doesn't like losing. Oh, don't worry. I haven't any action in years. I've been looking forward to this. We need a lot of animals to help us. We need to gather a whole army! Well, let's get started. Time's a-wasting. Bright will shine the fields of England Pure as shall its waters be Sweeter yet shall blow its breezes On the day that sets us free 
for the day we all must labor Though we die before it break Cows and horses, geese and turkeys All must toil for freedom's sake Face of England, peace of Ireland Face of Maryland and Glen All be well and spread my time Of the golden good Gentlemen, I wish I had admired you here on better grounds, but unfortunately I have dreadful news to share with you. Snowball, an eagle pig, ran away from Manor Farm when he and I got into a disagreement. His intentions were to go out and find supporters of his despicable ideals. I have been informed that he has recently built up an army to take down Manor Farm as well as Foxwood Farm and Pinchfield Farm. Are you sure of this information? Yes, are you? And why are you warning us? We haven't exactly had the greatest history. I believe it is our job to control and administer the affairs of each of our farms. Snowball is a threat to our responsibilities as a leader. For these reasons, I propose that we join forces to defeat Snowball. And why should we listen to you? I'm very glad you asked. You see, not only does Snowball threaten your farms, but he also threatens your domination. What do you mean by this? If Snowball succeeds, he will promote his inane ideas of equality amongst your animals. He will strip you of every last bit of your power, the, pari the very power that he has spent you have spent your entire existence trying to obtain. But what if he did not succeed? And what if we still maintain power? And what if I told you I could double that power, or even triple it? How could you do that? Here on Manor Farm, we have implemented the most highly effective measures to improve the lives of those who are more equal than others. If we join together and feed Snowball, I could give you knowledge of those same measures for your own use. So, do we have a deal? I think we do. Excellent. What is your business here? We come in peace, we just want to talk. Then speak. We ask you to surrender, you will face the castle and not win. Yeah, less animals and people will be hurt this day. Ridiculous! You will be the ones that will lose. We will be victorious. We will never surrender. This is your last chance. Leave. You will be in for a rude awakening when the battle commences. <laughs> Prepare the troops! Oh yes, leader! Oh. Silva was alive. Oh, we must turn against Napoleon and support him. Benjamin, will you join us? I do what I want at the time I choose. Oh, okay. Then it's settled. We will wait until the battle begins. Get ready! happy if you knew I was learning to read. Yes, you would, Clover. Now, have any of you seen Billy Bob on this fine day? 
I think I saw him finishing up the meeting with the other farmers. I don't know, Snowball. Some of the farmers did not look very interested. None of them did. It's a waste of time, I tell you, no comrade. But alas, Rome is not built in a day. We must keep moving forward. Now, excuse me. Hello, Billy Bob! Hello there, Snowball. We got us magic pamphlets here. Because they seem eager to join our cause. <sighs> Sam a Sam old. Some are all for it, others don't get me fun. Well, we must not give up. Of course not. And also, Billy Bob, we must always stick together. Like I've always told you, I'll support you to the end, Snowball. They think they won, but they're wrong. I know, but we how foolish of them. Too bad they don't know they can't defeat us. Because we will always prevail. <laughs>